In this tutorial, we will focus on the baking process. This design element is crucial and has a significant influence on the creation of a realistic image. Baking light maps is a process similar to rendering. The realistic light is projected onto an object as a texture. Compared to rendering a static image, baked light maps enable us to create interactive 3D dynamic scenes with realistic lighting and low performance cost. We'll walk through the process of refining scene lighting and baking light maps, as well as how to do adjustment effects and background modification. To start, exit the camera mode. Fine-tune the position and intensity of the lights. Take your time when looking for an ideal lighting setup. It is important to get it right. Next, tweak the environment lighting. You can select an HDRI from the environment library. Choose between outdoor and studio environments. Alternatively, you can upload your own HDRI. Modify the environment lighting by reducing the intensity and adjusting the rotation. Let's proceed to bake the light maps. At the bottom of the canvas, you'll find the light map preview mode, which provides a quick glimpse of how the light map will look. Keep in mind that the light map preview can be demanding on your hardware, so it's advisable to switch back to a textured view when it is not needed. You have the option to bake everything at once by selecting the entire group, or bake different objects separately, which is useful when those parts are also animated. In our case, We'll animate the cable, so we'll bake the device and the cable separately. To do this, hide the cable, select the device group, and navigate to the light map menu. Choose a suitable resolution, but it is recommended that you leave it on auto, as it will automatically set the best resolution for each object. The quality setting determines the number of samples used for rendering the scene. It's a good idea to leave denoise on to reduce noise or artifacts in the rendered image. Click Bake to start the light map baking process. This may take a few minutes, depending on the scene's size and textures, and your device performance. In the next step, we'll bake shadows for the cable. To achieve this, unhide the cable and hide the device. Then, access the light map menu and initiate the baking process. Unhide all objects and inspect your model in preview mode. You'll notice that the shadows appear much more realistic compared to the initial state. Let's also bake the ground shadow. To do this, access the ground plane settings menu and adjust its size according to your object to maintain resolution quality. Open the Bake menu to configure settings like Resolution, Quality, and Denoise. Click Bake to start the process. Keep in mind that the ground shadow's appearance also depends on the position and the intensity of the light, so don't hesitate to experiment to get the best results. Now, we'll make some final adjustments to the scene to really get a great result. First, go to the Background Settings menu and switch from a solid background to a linear background. Fine-tune the gradient's saturation, brightness, and position. Second, select the adjustments effect and modify the contrast and exposure settings. A quick tip. You can adjust an object's material settings without affecting a light map, since they use separate UV maps.
that is it. Follow these steps and get comfortable with the baking process as it significantly enhances the visual quality of any project. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll cover the animation of the cable and button.